Hey guys, so today I'll be reviewing a movie called The Vigil. So this is actually the first movie I've even seen in a few months. This has been my welcome back to the movies movie and I have to say I had my hopes up pretty high for this movie considering it was a new horror and I had a fresh take. You know, I haven't really heard of a Jewish horror movie before except for maybe The Gollum. Um, so yeah, it was bringing something new to the table and I was really excited for it but... Unfortunately, on the day of the movie, I got really sick, so um, I ended up walking out of it like 15 to 20 minutes early, and I don't know, to be fair, if that was because I was sick or I just wasn't enjoying the movie. I think it was a little bit of both, but I would have stayed if I wasn't sick, so yeah, I want to be fair in my review, um, and it was funny in the cinema going back in because you couldn't sit next to anybody, not just on your side, but on your back and your front. You had this whole bubble of protection in the cinema. And for someone like me, that was amazing. <laughs> but it was funny seeing everybody in their face masks and somebody coughed in another person, even though the person was like really far away from that person that coughed. They were still like, you know, please don't infect me, you know. <laughs> It's funny, it's like, is this what the cinemas are going to look like coming into 2021? Are we going to have this level of like, you know, it's it's like there's maybe four people in the whole cinema on the first day, opening weekend. And it's, yeah, in a way it's good because I don't like sharing the cinema with too many people because, you know, otherwise you get a lot of noise. But on the other hand... I kind of miss that. There's something about opening night with a packed cinema, but you know, I just love it. Anyway, so The Vigil. Was this a good movie? Mm, honestly, I love the premise. I feel like they had a lot to work with here. So basically, it's about this guy who's a Jew who's struggling with his faith. He's been through some traumatic events that have made him sort of leave his faith, question what he's believing in, and he's asked to hold this vigil. So in the Jewish community, a vigil is basically watching over the body of a dead person just after they die for like a day or something. I don't know, I'm not Jewish. <laughs> but basically you watch over the body to make sure that the soul is safe and it, I don't know, goes into the afterlife safely. I don't know. Anyway, that's what happens in a vigil and um, so this um, old man that he doesn't know dies and the person that's watching over him gets scared and says they don't want to do it anymore. So this guy reaches out to him and says, can you please do it? And he agrees to do it only for the money. And the old man that dies is living in this creepy old house with his wife and she's, yeah, she's really creepy. You see her a few times in the movie, but other than that, um, the main lead of the movie, I forget his name, but he's really carrying this movie himself. The whole movie is really just him and the house. And look, I just, he, he was a really good actor. I felt like he did a good job in this, um, but I felt like it would have been more interesting to me personally if they brought in a few more characters to round it out a little bit more. But basically he's stuck in this house. It's kind of like a take on the whole haunted house scene. Things start happening. He questions whether or not he's going insane. And then we work towards the final. And I feel like the 15 or 20 minutes that I actually walked out of was probably the whole um, reveal climax so I feel like I can't really judge this movie and I probably shouldn't even be doing a review but yeah I'm just going to be honest with what I did see so for the hour and 10 minutes or so that I saw I just felt like even with that no, mo no matter what they ended up doing at the end of the movie I felt even with that they needed to work on it because the tone and pacing were just like, they just, they did the classic jump scare thing a few too many times, in my opinion. And the pacing, it just felt like it kept going, going, going and not getting anywhere. Um, it just felt like 
it was trying to set up the audiences for these big scares, but they never paid off. And it just, I don't know, it felt like it lost direction to me personally. I feel like um, we see the character discovers why their house um, is doing all these spooky things. I won't reveal how, but the way that he found it out, I felt like that was a little bit lazy in the storytelling. But yeah, like the acting was good. The storyline was good. I liked the way that they shot it. Um, the colour scheme was like this dark, creepy colour that really added to the atmosphere of the movie. Um, I just felt like they needed to work on the script and the direction a bit more. But apart from that, like, I I would say it's worth a watch, you know. It's still a new horror movie and we haven't had one of those in a while. Well, we haven't had anything in a while. But, yeah, so go let me know what you think. Let me know how the ending went, please. And let me know if you loved it or you hated it. I would give it, based on what I saw, a 4 out of 10. So please help me out and subscribe. Thank you.